Hey guys, so I'm back with another YouTube video. I'm very surprised that I have the time to do this, but basically this video is going to be just like my postpartum and new mom essentials. So let's get into the video. So the first thing that I have next to me is my Fawn Design diaper bag. Literally everyone on Instagram has this. I love this bag. I love that it has a compartment back here. This is where I keep like this little changing pad. And then it also has a bunch of pockets here, 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 and like on the side. So normally I put his passy in a zipper pocket, somewhere very accessible. And then inside it has a few pockets as well. You can kind of see. Um, but yeah, I love the straps. It's super cute. It holds everything that I need. And I absolutely love this bag. The next necessity is um, this guy. These are the Blinky postpartum compression shorts. I wore these while I was pregnant as well. Everything in this video I'm obsessed with. Very on trend right now too because everyone's like wearing biker shorts with like an oversized shirt. So that's what I've been doing. I wear these all the time. So the next thing is something that was pretty useful because I had a C-section. Um, I got this from my hospital. It's like a compression belt. Super cute, kind of dirty. But basically, this guy is just a Velcro thing. You put it around your waist like that. This helped me get up and walk. I felt so much more comfortable wearing this. I don't think that would be the same case if you have a vaginal delivery, but since I had my emergency C-section, this thing is amazing. It is not a waist trainer. It's literally just a compression belt. Um, it just helped me feel like I could kind of like sit up a little bit better, stand a little bit higher, and that kind of deal. So the next thing is the Honest Diapers and Wipe subscription. We're on our second month. We got a gift card because we got to be on the Ellen DeGeneres Mother's Day special this year. Um, but for real, this diaper subscription is amazing. I do have a lot of like Huggies and Pampers diapers as well. Personally, I think the Honest diapers are better, especially for like blowout purposes. I just noticed... Um, that when we put them in the Pampers diapers at night, I would constantly be changing him and cleaning up blowouts, which is like obviously not fun. Um, so I kind of like started paying attention to when we were using which diapers and the Honest diapers, I will swear by them. Once our gift card runs out, I'll definitely still be purchasing these diapers because nobody wants to clean a blowout at night. So the next item I have is this nursing bra. I have this in black and nude, and I definitely want to get more. My mom got this from me or for me on Amazon. It's by the brand Auden. I just really like how stretchy it is. I wore these while I was pregnant too, but it stretches, and all you have to do is just kind of like, you know, just pull it back, and you can nurse. And then also along the same lines, high-waisted grandma panties. I got these from Target and I honestly wish that I got a size up um, because you need them to be high waisted, especially with my cesarean. It like was very difficult for me to wear regular underwear um, because all of the underwear like ended right where my incision was. So definitely get some high waisted underwear if you can find seamless granny panties. I feel like that would be better than even those that I just showed. I have this Perry bottle. This is for when you go to the bathroom and you fill it up with water and you squeeze it to cleanse yourself after you use the bathroom because they do not want you wiping down there um, for a little while. I actually had tearing in there as well as from my like vaginal delivery part of my um, delivery story. I have a delivery story. I guess I'll just link that below if you want to watch that but basically i pushed for four hours and then i had an emergency c-section so i had the whole situation anyways i love this it is so much better than the peri bottle they give you at the hospital and it's like 
less than $20. I definitely think this is something that you need to keep if you have multiple bathrooms, buy multiple of these and just keep one in each bathroom and I think you'll be set. But this guy is ride or die situation. <laughs> Um, so then I have this guy. This is the Hakka. Everyone swears by this. So I decided to get this because I noticed that I would leak from time to time. Um, in the beginning my supply was absolutely insane. So my doctor had me stop pumping every single day or multiple times a day like I had been. But basically I had a huge supply. Um, now I'm kind of more regulated but I still like to use this from time to time. I don't use it religiously. Um, and you do kind of have to practice using this because I have spilled milk a few times So practice, but I definitely think this is a useful thing to have it. They sell it at Target under $20 Okay, so now I have a few things. This was actually gifted to me from Jocketot by my sister who's older than me who has um, two kids used this for her second and she was absolutely obsessed so I was probably gonna get a Jocketot um, whether I had gotten it gifted to me by the brand or if I purchased it myself or if I got it gifted to me by a family member, I was always planning on having one of these. Jameson absolutely loves this. The first few days he would like sit in this and just fall asleep. Now he's like too alert to do that, but he still lounges in it. And then if we are downstairs, um, we'll put him in this to nap, but obviously we don't leave him unattended. Um, but yeah, I really love this swear by this. I know some people swear by the snuggle me. Personally, I just think the Dokita is awesome. Plus, my baby is 21 inches long and I definitely think he would have outgrown the, the snuggle me like immediately. So I'm really happy we went with the Dokita. So then I also have this guy. This is the Boppy Pillow. The cover I got from my sister. It was a hand-me-down. But I love this. This guy is amazing for nursing. It's spoiled me to the point where I just need to figure out how to nurse without it because sometimes I'll have to nurse in public and I don't know so basically it's nice because I just let my boob sit on the pillow and then Jameson lays right here and it's basically hands-free I mean I'll usually hold his head in place because he gets distracted um but this guy is amazing and I can't imagine nursing without this I have two more items. The first is this onesie. It was a gift from a friend. They gifted us this brand, Kite Baby. This is so soft and it's absolutely amazing. Jameson is about to grow out of this one. Thankfully, she got us a zero to three month version as well. But I love that it has the zipper coming from the foot of well so that way when we need to change his diaper at night we don't have to undress him and it's just so soft and it's very lightweight so even in the summer I feel like he can wear this and still be very comfortable the next item I have is the Solly baby wrap I'm absolutely obsessed with this it's so soft and I think this is actually Jameson's current favorite way to be worn um, they gifted me the wrap but I definitely would have bought it because I definitely wanted to try at least baby wearing. Um, I have a few other types of carriers, but right now at the stage that we're in, this one is our go-to. Um, it also just fits really nice in my diaper bag. I always have one with me. I have this one in like another color. Um, but I love, 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 love the Solly Baby Wrap. So in the next few things, are kind of more techie items so the first is outlet um i'll show you guys jameson is literally sleeping right now but i love the camera it mounts on the wall and we always watch him and i can also have the sound on in the background which is really really nice um so whether i'm on the app or not on the app i can still hear him and then also obviously has the camera and it just hooks up through your phone, um, which is really, really nice. So I love, love, love our baby monitor. The next app that I have to share is the Wonder Weeks app. Basically this app, I'm sure some of you guys have heard of it. It talks about his leaps. So a leap is basically when they go through a change in their development. So for example, 
at week five he went through the changing sensation sleep and it kind of just goes over like what your baby's experiencing and then maybe like symptoms of like the leap okay so the baby tracker app is super awesome because you can track pretty much everything feeding diaper changes sleeping pumping and like any other activity that you want to do i just use it for sleeping because tracking everything became kind of overwhelming for me. I almost actually just stopped using the app altogether because I was like, this is too much. But I used it to track his sleeping. And I just think it's really great because, oh my goodness, let me go to this setting. You can see like a visual representation as well. Um, and I really, really like that feature. But yeah, that's pretty much all of my necessities. I know that most of this stuff is just going to be mom stuff, but that's literally my life right now. I have nothing else going on. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. And please comment, like, and subscribe if you want more videos like this. And I'll see you guys next time.